The Jolly Fisherman, contributed by Boston Public Library. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Taylor Arnett. The Jolly Fisherman, contributed by Boston Public Library. One wee kitten in the house, it's all as quiet as a mouse. When there are two, it's not so quiet, but not enough to call a riot. When three are there, they make a noise, most like a schoolroom full of boys. Those kittens three kick up such capers. Papa can't read his daily papers. I think the best he can do is send all three to school, don't you? Their noise and capers will cease, and he can read the news in peace. At the toy shop, Buy, buy, what shall we buy? A horse to ride or a kite to fly? A train, a boat, or a ball? A lady doll or a sailor boy? It's terribly hard to choose a toy when you like to try them all. The doggies promenade. Three dogs went out for a promenade all on a summer's day. There was Mr. Dog and Mrs. Dog and little doggy Trey. And as they walked down the crowded street, they were proud as proud could be. For they were dressed in their very best, as every one could see. But a mischievous cat on the sidewalk stood. No coat, no hat in his cheek. And she laughed at the dress and the pomposeness of the dog and his family. Mr. Dog growled deep and sprang at the cat and chased her up and down with an angry cry and flashing eyes throughout the wandering town. But he tripped and fell in the slippery street, and when he arose, lo! His stylish clothes were mud from head to toe. And Mrs. Dog, when she saw his plight with horror, swooned away and sank right down with her silken gown on a heap of soft red clay. Wee Baby Dog was in sad distress. He sought for his cap in vain. His kilt was torn, he was all forlorn, and his tears fell down like rain. But the ruggish cat at her fireside sat and thought of her fun that day, and she jumped and danced and purred and pranced at the doggies running away. Just notice our clothes as we walk in the line. Did you ever see anything half so fine? Old Dog is a humbug. On a fraud he is bent. Mr. Goose is a fool if he gives him a cent. They didn't know it was loaded. Very refreshing. You get the very best milk, you know, with the chalk and water dairy co. Mom and his mother, whenever they pass, always call in and have a glass. Jumbo's garden. Jumbo has a garden, a pretty little garden, filled with every flower that grows, and was watered every day, in a novel sort of way, with his trunk for a garden hose. Wide awake. Oh, Biddy, said Foxy, come sit with me. The moon's wide awake. I wait for thee. No thanks, said Biddy, I'm safer here. The moon is wide awake. So am I, Foxy dear. The family coach. This is the way the kittens play when their children are gone, gone away. Six in the coach and all alive, gone off for a lovely drive. Tumbling down, they never mind. They run in front, they run behind. Tabitha Mew has lost her head. Worse things happen at sea than that. So take my warning, girls and boys, and put away all your toys, or else the kittens with them will play whenever you happen to go away. End of The Jolly Fisherman. Recording by Taylor Arnett.